in my opinion, 100% without a shadow of a doubt, the number one thing you can do to ensure that you ain't wasting your money and your fish are growing um, to their fullest potential um, is water changes. What is up all you Stone Cold Illmatic Funky Monkey? This video, I'm doing a DIY project, getting rid of chlorine for free. I'm not saying for one minute that I have an abundance amount of aquariums, but I definitely got more than a little bit. So if you like me having to run to the store just to buy one thing, I hate doing it, okay? And there's been many, many times where I've had to do, do a water change and I either ran out of the stuff or I just didn't have it all together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do me some DIY chlorine filters so that I can remove tap water, so I can move chlorine from the tap water without having to use expensive chemicals. So, so all I have to do is go straight from the tap to the tank and not have to worry if I forgot to put this in there or I use too much and it's starting to, you know, be kind of costly. It's, it's fairly cheap, especially when you consider I probably only, I've had a lot of the, you know, the, the, the stuff to do this, this job. I had some of the stuff, but if I didn't have any of the stuff, it would cost me about, I would probably say less than $150. Plus I didn't buy it all at once. It was, you know, piecework. And when you consider this bottle right here, I don't, I don't remember how much I spent for this bottle, but I'm sure within the course of a year, I spent more than $150 on the chlorinator. Easy. And if you just happen to be one of those companies that sell expensive dechlorinator or expensive dechlorinating filter systems, and you thought for one minute that I would be interested in being sponsored by you, let me tell you something. I don't know what I'm talking about, y'all. Hey, nobody even really listens to my channel. I, I, I don't listen to me. You know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Give me another chance. Look, if you want, I, look, I've announced the video. Hey, use Prime. The funk lets you know it's working. Mm. First of all, let me say thank you for showing up to my video on my little DIY project on a chlorine removal filter system. And if this is your first time visiting my channel, I invite you to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified as soon as I put little, little tidbits, little helpful stuff um, as soon as it dribbles out of my head and out of my mouth. Thank you in advance. So, check my video out. Let me know what you think. Would this be something that you could use at your home?
I'm trying to look good just so when you see me, you're like, damn, Ricky, you're supposed to look bad. You know what I'm saying? But it's coming. I got my man right here, um, Ricky from PB Aquatics. What's Check up, him. what's up? Check him out. Um, he's he's into building stuff, too. He just happened to drop by. What we're going to do now is we're going to leak test it. I got it set up to right here. If you look right here, this black thing right here, this is a uh, um, 25 PSI restrictor, reducer. So it restricts it 25 yeah. pounds. So only 25 PSI is going to be coming out of here. The reason why is... It's Florida. It gets hot. These hoses get soft, and I don't want this to bust, right? Well, um, and it also is going to slow it down, so it goes through the filter faster. Yeah. Slower. So yeah, that's another thing. It also, you know, will allow it to go through a little bit slower. You know, um, hopefully clear out a lot of that chlorine. I got this hose coming from here. I could turn off the valve here. I could turn off the valve there, and this is where the water's supposed to come out. And I also have a valve here. So let's turn this on and see if it leaks. If it does leak, it's gonna leak where I glued it. I probably did a bad job of gluing it. But there it goes. That's how I would be filling up my tank. But we see we have a leak there, so I'm gonna have to do some, watch when I turn it off, all that pressure. Even though it's only 25 for PSI, yeah, right there where the glue is. Right there. You can just do a glue wrap on that probably. So yeah, I'm gonna have to do some uh some re-gluing on that. So well, first attempt was a fail. Because Ricky, it was I'm blaming it on Ricky. I think your glue job sucked. <laughs> That's why we test the fine leaks. But I wanna know if the chlorine is out of the water, so I'm gonna test the chlorine. I'm gonna test the chrine real quick. Is, is, is it working? Is it on? All you have to do is turn that. Right. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Put it in your mouth. It's brand new. It's brand new. Put it in I want to see if it has chlorine or if it tastes like aquafina. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, by the way, just to let you know, this is a house filter. How does it taste anyway? Pretty good. Let me tell you. They bought a water. Hey, I'm going to be starting up a website. You'll be able to buy aquafunk <laughs> aquatics water. It's going to fix that glue right there. So stay tuned. I'm going to go ahead and fix that. And I'm going to get a chlorine test strip, too. Um, and we're going to figure out if it actually gets rid of chlorine. All right, so we found the culprit right here. What, what, what happened? What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? You put not enough glue. I mean, you like, you put, like, I don't know, maybe uh, you looked at it with the glue and that was it. What are you doing, though? I'm you dressing it up? I'm sanding it to take off the tiny bit of glue you did put on so that when I put new glue, it'll adhere better and we won't have no more leaks. You're going to adhere it? Adhere it. Well, what it sound like? <laughs> so he sanded off some of the older stuff. He redid it, and uh, let's go see. Let's see what happens now. Yeah, you trust? Do you trust that it's gonna work? Hell yeah, I trust no, it. Yeah, I glued it. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so look, it's not leaking. So you know what I mean. So it's, it's, it's ready. There's only one thing left I have to do, and I should have thought ahead of time, is got a chlorine test kit strip. And uh, my neighbor has one. She's not home right now, but I'm going to go ahead and, and, and borrow her test strip, and we're going to see exactly if this is removing the chlorine that it, it should remove. So but I'll um, tell you what, for my taste test that I did, it removed the chlorine. Yeah, don't go by that. Don't go by that at all. Let me do the test first and then you... <laughs> so, all right, so I set everything up and thanks to the 25 PSI regulator, I don't have so much pressure that this thing is leaking. We fixed the, the leak. Thank you, Ricky, for that. And I, I went ahead and did a, a test. I did a test using some test strips against the water coming out of here and the water from um, my tap using Prime. And I'm happy to say that it is the same results. So. There is zero chlorine, which honestly I, I was I was surprised that it's completely zero. Um, you know, I'm, I might want to test on a monthly basis because I'm not quite sure how long these carbon blocks last. Um, it said in a home it lasts, you know, like six months or something like that. But I think with the amount of water changes I do, it might not be that much. So. Uh, regular um, test testing on on this particular thing, so that I can get a baseline, so I know, you know. And, and the cartridges are, are cheap; they're really cheap in comparison to the prime. So I'm real happy that everything came out well. Um, everything set up. I got it, my little hook on there, as you can see. Boom! So all I have to do is lay it up there, 
turn on turn on my uh my uh, uh little cut off my little shut off turn on valve and uh, once again thanks to the 25 psi regulator i don't have too much water flow that it's blowing the fish all over the place i can just walk away and uh it's not going to fall out of the tank or anything like that i just have to make sure i check it so um i'm thinking about doing i saw a diy buzzer where you can hook onto the top of your tank i'm thinking about doing one let me know if you'd be interested in that um i hope that this this video gave some of you guys an inspiration in case you wanted to get a larger um, fish room get more tanks this might help out but i'm real happy the way it came out and i'm glad that you were here with me um to see all this so like always take care of yourself take care of your family take care of your fish